Hey guys, so I technically just posted one of these, um, but because I just posted one, I do have a bunch of stuff. <laughs> so I just feel, I just posted this just in. Um, today is June 16th. Um, I posted one the week before I'm filming this one, but I had filmed that one months ago, which means I've accumulated many things and a lot of things that I actually want to start testing. So I want to put them away and I don't like putting stuff away and then taking it back out to do these videos. I kind of like to accumulate stuff, film the videos, then put it away and test them, whatever. So I'm filming one now. I'm going to wait quite a few weeks to post it though, just so I'm not posting this just ins right on top of each other. Um, but then that just means I'm going to constantly be behind. So at some point I'm going to need to post them on like two right on top of each other just to catch up. But um, this shouldn't take too long. I mean, I don't have a ton of stuff, but I do have a lot of stuff that I want to start testing. So let's just get into all that. And um, hopefully my camera cooperates. I noticed in the videos that I filmed the week previous to this one, um, I had a lot of auto focusing issues and the audio sounded kind of weird. So I'm hoping I don't have those problems again today. We'll see. So I'm gonna start with some clothing things before I move on to like actual products. So one of which I'm wearing, how far can I back? Oh, oh look, there's pugs, these. Hey pugs. Um, so I bought some shirts from Wholesome Culture, which I'm, <laughs> my little microphone. Um, I love Wholesome Culture. I've you know showed them to you guys quite a few times and I've bought a lot of shirts from them. I really love their clothing. I love that they're ethical. I love that. I just love lots of, I just love everything about wholesome culture. So the one I'm wearing right now is skip a straw, save a sea turtle. I also got this one, which is grow positive thoughts. I love this color, this like pink. And then the last one I got less fear, more love. I could tell my cats have been laying on these in the other room because they're very hairy. <laughs> So they're a little, I usually, I get smalls. Um, I'm also 10 pounds heavier than I was three months ago though. So there it goes. Yeah, I noticed it just did the autofocus thing. Um, yeah, I've definitely gained the quarantine 10. I'm trying to work on that at the moment. <laughs> I also ordered another headband from Mia Coda. She's been working on um, some like naturally dyed ones. I think this specific one was cranberry and turmeric. So you can see it's like pink with a little bit of yellow. I love her zero waste headband, so I'm always picking up those when she's, you know, launching new colors. And then I ordered some bralettes from Lively. Lively is pretty much the only place that I buy, well, they are. They're the only place that I buy bras and bralettes from anymore, and they came out with a new style, though I'm not really sure what the style is called. Style 42645, whatever that is. Um, they, they have, what is it, like the deep V? is one of the styles that I love. And this one has adjustable straps. So there's no closure, you just pull it over your head, but this one has adjustable straps where the other one doesn't. And they're thinner straps. And I really loved that other style. So I did buy two of those, one in the toasted almond and one in this like sort of new blue color. And then I have another one that I've been test or, or testing, I've been wearing. Um, I didn't bring it in here because it's dirty. I haven't washed it, but it's um, a Razorback, a Razorback style. Cause I've got these racerback tanks that I've, I've accumulated from Target over the years. They're like what the Massimo ones or whatever. I don't even remember. I don't remember what brand they are. Um, but I love the racerback tanks from Target, which I don't even know, do they sell those anymore? Usually they come out in the summer, but the last few times I've been at Target, I haven't seen any. So maybe they've stopped carrying that specific style. I don't know. But um, I, ha I don't wear bras anymore, like underwire bras. Ever since I got pregnant, they've been totally uncomfortable. I really like the bralettes. Um, and I haven't been able to find a racerback bralette that I like with straps that are thin enough and that don't show. Those are the closest I've found so far. I'll link them down below and I'll post a picture right here so you can see which ones I'm talking about. Um, they're the closest ones I found and they'll just have to do. But um, yeah, like these, if they, if they would make a racerback with these thin straps, I bought, I bought another bra that was convertible, but I don't like it. From Lively, it, it's very like itchy. If I can remember what style that is, I'll like write it in right here, but um, it was a convertible style so it could convert to Razorback, but I don't like it. <laughs> That's the one bra from Lively that I don't like. I've liked every other bra that I've bought, but um, not that one. Anyway, that's all of the fabric 
clothing items that I've bought over the last you know month or so. So now we'll get into all of the skincare stuff. So this one, I'm like, I'm so mad at myself. So this company called Evolve Organic Beauty. They're a UK based brand and I do believe Integrity Botanicals, did they just start carrying them? And Credo I know sells some of their stuff. Neither one of them carries the entire line. Um, but I saw that they came out with a new mask. I'm gonna post it here because I meant to order it and then totally didn't order the right thing. So it's this new gold mask and it looked so cool. And they were running a special that weekend that they had launched the mask um, where if you bought like the regular size, they would upgrade the size for free. So I bought two masks, or I thought I did. Um, the Miracle Mask, which is the fruit AHA and maca, it's the one, it's like an enzyme, I think. I'm not sure what it is, but this is, this is one I haven't tried. Um, so I wanted to get this one and I wanted to get the new gold one, and that's what I thought I ordered. And then when I opened the box, the other one that I ordered is the chocolate blueberry one, which is, I can't remember what the name of it is. But then as I was putting my stuff here, Jill decided to come up here and get into all my boxes, dropped that one on the floor and the jar cracked. So I was able to save some of it. As you can see, it's not the same amount. Um, but yeah, I was able to save some of that one. So it's the, this is the chocolate. I've tried this one before and I do like it, but I really wanted to try that gold one. So at some point I'm gonna place another order for that gold mask. I'm so mad. I'm so mad at myself because I really wanted to use that one. It was such a cool, like, you know, unique. I haven't seen any gold masks in Green Beauty before and that one's so cool. And I believe Evolve is an all organic, not organic, all vegan skincare line. I've tried, I like their masks the best. I've tried some of their other skincare and it's just sort of like meh. Their masks are good. Or at least the one that I've tried. <laughs> I'm hoping the other masks are just as good. And there's little Pugsley, he's looking down or looking up at me. Okay, so we've got a new launch from the Detox Mode. And the detox mode is sort of like a sub line from the detox market or it's the detox market's own line of products. They have body products, bath products, and now they've got deodorants. So they've got two different deodorants, the feeling all together, which is their classic deodorant that has baking soda in it. And then there's their feeling free deodorant, which is their baking soda free version. So here's what these two look like they just launched. And I'm testing them both right now. So baking soda free on this underarm, classic on this underarm. So I'm sort of seeing how they compare to each other. Do they work similarly? Does the baking soda one irritate or does the baking soda free one not work at all? Um, so I'll keep you posted, but I mean, I have high hopes. I hope that they work. I hope every deodorant I try works, but that doesn't ever seem to be the case. <laughs> I've gotten lucky with a couple, but they're, these are not vegan. They do have beeswax in them as well. So, you know, again, like it's like sometimes you find one that works and then it's not vegan and then you find the vegan ones and then they don't work and whatever. Okay, so I placed an order with Hero Mighty Patch. I ordered three of the Invisibles um, because I love these and I can't be without them. They do have a subscribe and save option if you, it saves you like 20% or something. So you could like have three packs come to your house every month or something like that. So that's that. And then this other brand called Timeless reached out to me. They originally wanted me to, to just become like an affiliate. And then I was like, I don't become affiliates for brands that I haven't tried any of their stuff. So would you mind sending your stuff? I could test it and I could see if I like it. And I, you know, we'd recommend it. And then they're like, oh yeah, sure. <laughs> so they've got two different lines. They've got the pure line and then they've got their, I guess, sort of not pure line. They're like regular line. So their pure line is just their products that have pure ingredients. So they're they're very basic ingredients, they're natural. The other ones are not, you know, the most pure and they're not things that I would normally use. So I did ask to try all of the pure line. So they've got the squalane oil, so which it's, it's squalane oil. That's all that it is. Um, dehydration, hypersensitivity, redness, pure, 100% pure olive oil derived squalane. They've got the hyaluronic acid. So, and this is water, sodium hyaluronate, 1%, uh, benzyl alcohol, and then dehydra dehydrosic acid. I don't know, whatever. For dehydration, hypersensitive, even redness. And then the last thing they have is the argan oil. So this is the 100% pure argan oil. And I believe each of these is $9.99 each, so very affordable. And then they just come looking like this. They're, each one's a different color. So the argan oil is yellow, the hyaluronic acid is blue, 
and the squalane is green. So I'll be giving those a try, let you know what I think about those. But if you're looking for sort of just like basic, pure, affordable skincare, like if you just want a hyaluronic acid and you just want a squalane as like a moisturizer, you could totally do that for 20 bucks. I mean, very affordable, but I'll let you know um, how I like them in the coming weeks. That's all that's in that box. So I've been working on accumulating some makeup from black owned brands so I can do like an entire face of black owned brands. And one that I came across was this love color. I believe I discovered this on that black and green website. And now my autofocus is going to uh, act up, but I just bought their mascara. This isn't vegan also. It's, 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 it's looking like it's going to be a little bit difficult to find totally vegan, totally natural, because you guys know sort of like what my standards are. Um, there's a lot of black owned beauty brands out there, but there aren't a lot of black owned beauty brands that are like green and clean. So it's, it's been sort of difficult to find like a brands that fit my standard as well as being vegan. Um, for the most part, um, I will still use beeswax and honey. Um, but I do want to find, you know, as much vegan as possible. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, I'm looking for those things. I found them. I'm sort of like placing random orders here and there, but this is one, this is the Love & Co. The Love & Co mascara. So that'll be making a feature here at some point. I do have another one, um, another black owned beauty brand in here. Yeah, it's this one. This is the Undefined Beauty. They don't have a ton of makeup. They just have sort of like this one limited edition product. It's their, um, indigo rose glow, uh, glow balm, which is just like a lip balm. From what I have tried this so far, I did just pick up one and I thought I'd picked up a different color. I didn't think this was the one that I picked up. I thought I picked up the sort of the more hot pink color because this is, this is also a CBD infused line, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, but the only thing is that there's like zero pigmentation on this. So it's basically just like a clear lip balm. So that's, I mean, that's a little bit disappointing, but we'll sort of see how it goes. So again, like I'm accumulating some things from black owned beauty brands that might've just been my fault for just picking the wrong color. It was sort of hard to tell which colors were what, and I thought I had grabbed the right one. Which one did I grab here? This is Rose. So it's just, it's just sort of like a light, light pink, clear lip balm. And then I also picked up the Indigo Rose Glow Booster uh, CBD Exfoliating Gel at the same time because this product looks pretty interesting. It's very small, it's just like a little mask. I'm not sure how many uses I'll get out of that, but I'm excited to try those things. You can sort of like smell. I did also place an order with Monk. It's been quite a while since you guys have heard me talk about Monk. I think the last time I talked about them was like last summer. Um, but they just released some CBD infused pens and actually had some credit with Monk that I had just been sort of sitting on. And then I just decided last night to go ahead and place an order for their new CBD pens. So probably in the next, just this just in, you'll see the Monk, you'll see the, the new Monk pens. I also ordered a couple of their original pens as well, but um, I, I have a link for Monk down below in case you want to check that out. But they're like, uh, they're not va they're not vapes, but it's like in essential oil, infused like pens they're like vaporizers but they're not vapes you don't inhale them into your lungs you just um it's like you're sucking in a straw but you're not inhaling it into your lungs and then you just like sort of keep it in your mouth for a second and then you exhale it out your nose when those come in the mail i'll demo them again but um i've wanted to sort of get back into those because i do feel like they sort of help with my like anxiety and stuff and i've been sort of like reaching for them i have one of the reusable packs um that I've been sort of like reaching for that sits on my desk and it's sort of been like helping with my anxiety more. So I thought the CBD ones might help a little bit. <laughs> so I got the last product in that I was missing from the, bland, the brand Plenitude, which is um, a black owned brand as well, which I didn't know. Um, so yeah, they, Plenitude, I now have all of their products. They have five. So I'm gonna start testing this line. Um, ASAP. So this is the floral essence. I'm really excited about using those products and I hope that um, I hope that my skin really likes them. I'm using a lot of the Ficlo stuff right now because before I start testing this, I do want to do 
a review of the Fit Glow Cloud products, which I also have. So I have some new Fit Glow things. I have the new Fit Glow Cloud Ceramide Foam Cleanser, and then the new Facial Cleansing Brush, which this thing is so darn cute. So this is the, this is the cleansing brush. It's like such nice, soft bristles. I would rub it on my face, but um, I don't want to mess up my, <laughs> my makeup and my makeup is like all cream. This is really nice. This is a really nice brush um, and it's super cute. Yeah, I'm sort of like re-familiarizing myself with all of the cloud comfort products or sort of like the calming line in general because they do have the, uh, the milk, the calm cleansing milk, which I don't think is a cloud comfort product, but it's in the calm line. And then the C toning mist as well is also sort of included in that calm line. So um, in a few weeks, I'll be doing a Fit Glow review of all of the cloud slash calm products. And then they also just released a new lip serum in the shade Halo. So it's sort of like this matte, or is it, it's not matte, but it's like this non-shimmery, like brown nude color. I haven't tried this on my lips yet. I need to do that tomorrow. Yeah, because I think I'm going to film another video tomorrow, so I'll try it. I'll try it tomorrow. But there's more lip products coming probably around the same time that I'm going to post this video, but I'm going to post a separate video of the new Fit Glow lip products. So you'll see another separate Fit Glow lip products video. Okay, so Ashlyn Quinn has a new skincare launch. This is the Viola uh, Hydroflora Repair Cream Absolute. So it's sort of like a new moisturizer. But like, look at the color, guys. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. It smells like candy. I love the scents of all of her products. So um, I am now a Ashlyn Quinn ambassador. So she did send me also a replenishment of her line. So I do have that over there. I don't really need to show you every single one because I've demoed them all. Um, and I've talked about them all. So she did send me the rest of the line as well, but there is one thing that I did want to point out and it's that Lilikoi got a little bit of an update, um, from the last time I talked about it. So I'm going to tell you what's new about it. So she said the Lilikoi mask is getting a bit of an update on its name. So I guess it's going to be I don't know if it's being renamed or if it's just the formulas updated, but she said she's increased the AHA content and added a bit of hibiscus flower to it as a gentle physical exfoliator as well. And then when the new labels are printed, it will be the Lilikoi fruit and flower resurfacing mask, which right now it's the fruit and flower vitality mask. The, the updated ingredient deck is already on the website. Mine just doesn't have the new label. She didn't want to wait to send me the new label. So it's not a big deal. Um, she said she, um, You'll, you'll notice more glow and softer skin, refined pores and better texture. And this has already had two updates. Um, so the very first one that she launched, I wasn't a huge fan of because I didn't, I didn't feel like it did anything. And then the second version of it was much, much better. It's, it's a favorite of mine. It's one of my favorite products from her line because it's just absolutely, it, I see results every single time. And now she's saying that you'll see even more results, more glow, less, you know, more pore refining, all that. So I'm very excited about that. So if you love this mask, you'll probably love it even more now that there are some updates to it. Okay. I was also contacted by Love Sun Body. They wanted to send me their new SPF. They didn't, they didn't really give me any information on this. So I don't know when it's launching. I don't know. I don't actually even have a full ingredient list. They, um, they didn't include an, a full ingredient list and it's not listed on, it's not listed on this. I haven't actually tried Love Sun Body before, but I do want to say that I believe I've seen Valeria talk about them and she does love their body sunscreen, but this is their moisturizing mineral face sunscreen. SPF 30, um, reef safe, cruelty free and vegan, non nano zinc oxide, it says it's quick drying, moisturizing formula, rubs in easily, leaves no white residue. So it's got sunflower oil, raspberry seed, uh, beta carotene, vitamin A and C, um, anti-inflammatory benefits from raspberry and sunflower, rich in omega-6 fatty acids. The information that I do have says it's going to be $42, available in June um, from Credo, Detox Market, Folane, Pharmaca, Love Sun Body. I don't know when in June, 
I was not given a date. <laughs> and again, not a full ingredient list. So I don't know all of the, I don't know all that I need to know about this, but I will link it when I can find a place to link it. But I'm pretty excited about that. I'm always excited about new sunscreens, especially ones that are, you know, zinc, zinc based and um, all that. So I had mentioned this in my skincare favorites video, but I figured I'd show it to you anyway. Um, I'm loving that Beauty Do from Edible Beauty so much. I bought myself two more um, to stock up on because I take this every single day. I feel like my skin is really, really benefiting from this. So now that I've actually got the box, I can tell you the ingredients. So it contains Actrasave and extract of black rice and nopal cactus flowers. Um, it provides an infusion of potent antioxidants that promotes hair growth by protecting your hair follicles from oxidative stress and unbalanced hormonal effects. So it's also um, contains silica, which is highly absorbable form of silica along with vitamin C, which helps support connective tissue structure and function. It can encourage healthy collagen formation from the inside out. So it's got water, glycerin, silica, natural berry flavor, the Actrasave, which is the black rice extract, nopal cactus flower extract, and then it's got absor uh, ascorbic acid, acerola fruit, potassium sorbate, zinc, citrate, palm oil free. I don't know. I'm, I really feel like I'm seeing a difference in using this, hence why I bought two to stock up on, because each bottle has about 20 servings, it says. I have missed a day here and there, but I never miss more than like one day in a row. So if I miss a day, I go back the next day, but I don't think missing one day, I haven't found it to be like detrimental or anything. So if you really wanna try some of those like internal beauty supplements, but the only ones that you've seen so far are like from Moon Juice or uh, the Beauty Chef, which are outrageously expensive, um, check out the Edible Beauty one because it's, it's much, much more affordable and it's still got really great ingredients and it's organic and it's vegan and um, you really can't beat that. Because I was looking at the Beauty Chef ones at how much they were, and they run like 50, 60, 70 dollars, and the Edible Beauty one is 30, so much, much more affordable. So we also have a new release from Five Yina. This is their hand treatment. This just came in, so I haven't even tried it yet, so I'm actually gonna try it with you guys. Pretty excited about this. It's like a gorgeous, rich color. Smells really awesome. That's very nourishing. It's got a little bit of a sort of like greasy finish, because it is, it's very like balm, oil balm-like. So this would be sort of like a great bedtime hand treatment. I probably wouldn't use something like this during the day, especially when I'm like, I don't know, working, you know, like get my keyboard all gunked up or whatever, but this is like a perfect nighttime hand treatment, or so like before you go to bed. So check out the new Five Yena hand treatment if you're looking for something like really, really nourishing, because it is, it is very nourishing. And then they stocked me up on some refills of my favorite things. Um, the Lucent Summer Mist is my favorite mist from them. I think I've been through like three bottles now. And then they also sent me some of their Divine All Seasons Biocellulose masks because this mask is fabulous. I love it so much. <laughs> it's been a little while since I've used it because I've been out of it. Um, so thank you very much, Fabina, for stocking me back up. These are, these are definitely one of my sort of like worth the splurge products. I should do a video like that, like worth the splurge. Because these are like 20 bucks a pop, but seriously, they make your skin look like just like new skin, like beautiful. Okay, we've got a couple more things and then we are done. Sorry, that's probably distracting. So I've got the new releases from Live Botanical as well. So we've got the Ambient Moisture Liquid, which is a multi-dimensional moisturizer to hydrate, soothe, firm, strengthen, uh, and strengthen lipid barrier function. So they did come out with, was it, it well, it's one new product and then two they had updates to two of their products. So this is the moisture liquid. So I'm really, really excited about trying that soon. And then there was an update to their overnight uh, resurfacing oil serum, which is a delicious fruit-filled enzymatic serum to refine and soften the skin during slumber, 
which this is fabulous. I have tried this before, older version obviously, so I'm, gonna, I'm excited to see how the new version compares. And then I believe there was a little bit of a update to the whipped balancing balm as well, which balances, clears, and protects dry or combination skin. Again, I have also used this in the past and this is fabulous as well, especially for oily skin. It is, it's much firmer. I feel like I remember it being like softer. God, I love the smell of that though. If you want like a blue tansy bomb that's like affordable, you don't wanna spend like, oh, I don't know, $200. <laughs> I love the Live Botanical one, it's so beautiful. This also has babasu seed, cranberry, sunflower, grape, rice bran, passion fruit, lavender, lemon balm, blue tansy. Yeah, very basic ingredients, but it, oh God, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous, I love that. One last thing. Okay, I'm gonna have to put this over here because it's humongous. So in my last video, the, the benefit of having this is I can walk away from the camera and I still sound exactly the same. <laughs> So in my last this just in, I told you guys about Bathorium, which is a bath care product company that I like. Um, and I told you about this bliss bundle they had where it was like their, um, like a bubble bath, the bath soak and like a bonus. Well, they had sent out an email or like a post or something that said like, this is the last weekend. Though the last time I looked after that, it was still up. So it may still be up, I don't know. But I ordered two more bundles. <laughs> <laughs> I shared this with Valeria too and she was like I'm totally ordering like two bundles because I mean it's it's great so I did I ordered two more bundles let me pull everything out and then we can talk about it all so each bundle came with a bath elixir bath crush and then a bonus and then the whole thing came with a uh, bonus free gift with purchase these are the vitamin cleanse wipes from Kaya Naturals um, so they must have had a packaging update or I don't know I don't know. When I ordered these the first time, these were in plastic. They are now in glass. So I got another one of the Be Calm, which is the lavender and Earl Grey, because I loved this scent. And then I also got the Be Pure, which is the cucumber and lemongrass. I thought that would also be very like refreshing. Very refreshing. And then the two bath crushes that I got were the Charcoal Garden Detox, which I believe is the one that was just in the Detox Market box. But this has five soaks instead of one. There's Pugsley getting in everything. And then I also got the Northern Sage Recovery Rejuvenating Bath Soak. So there's that one as well. And then the two bonuses were the Little Charlie Coconut and Oat Bath Soak, so I can throw this in the bath, you know, with Oliver. I have been putting the Be Calm in his baths as well. So now I can put a little bit of this in there and make it a little like a milky bath. And then I also got the Coconut and Bourbon Vanilla Natural Milk Bath. So you add two or three tablespoons of the bath soak, where with the crushes you add half a cup. So I'm not sure what the difference in the milk baths versus the crushes are. So these are sea salt and baking soda, and then these are coconut milk and sea salt. So you just add a couple of, this, is mu this must be more moisturizing. So this should last a good little while because it's got two to three tablespoons per instead of you know half a cup. So these has, this has five. Anyway, I love bath products. I'm filming my bath collection tomorrow, which you will have already seen. Um, I haven't, I haven't been taking as many baths recently, so my collection is just very large because I haven't had a chance to use them all. I've been getting a lot of sleep, so I've been spending, you know, less time like screwing around in the bathroom at night, so I'm not doing like masks that much. I'm not taking baths or whatever, but, um, when I do take baths, which I will again in the fall, you know, I'll take, I'll take them in the, in the summer as well, but like I take them more in the fall and winter. I'm going to be loving these things. I want to open this one. I want to actually smell this coconut, or not coconut, um, cucumber lemongrass one. I hope it's very like cucumbery. Oh, oh my gosh. I hope that that bundle is still around because I'm going to link it if it is. You definitely need to, like it's very, it's super affordable. It was 36 bucks for three different things. So for the elixir, for the crush, 
and for the bonus, 36 bucks each. And then I, I, I got a coupon from somewhere. I think Valeria shared a coupon with me that she had, and it was even, it was even more affordable. So I think I spent like 68 bucks for everything. Guys, that's so affordable. <laughs> And now I'm, I'm totally stocked up. I need to stop buying bath products. Um, that's another reason why I want to do this video because I want to film my bath collection video. But I need to stop buying bath products until I, I use up a lot of my stuff because I've got a lot of salts. I've got a lot of milk baths. I've got a lot of bubble bath now. I'm very excited about my, my little bath collection. So that's everything that I've got for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I, if you saw anything that is of interest, let me know. And I will definitely, I mean, I'm definitely gonna be reviewing all of these things. You know, I'll be, I'll be going over the new, you know, the timeless skincare, the very affordable stuff. You'll be seeing a full brand review from Plenitude at some point in the future. You probably will have already seen my Fit Glow video because I probably will be posting that before I post this video. Um, I'll have my black owned bake, uh, black owned makeup brands when I get a few more things in. I'm, I'm, I place a brand, I, oh shit, <laughs> oh my, cat. my cat just almost knocked these things off. Um, I place another order with um, Habit Cosmetics, which is a black owned brand, which I didn't know. I'm also looking into picking some things up from Plain Jane Beauty, which is a black owned brand, because I'm trying to find foundation and concealer that is to my standards ingredient wise, um, but is from a black owned brand. And I think Plain Jane Beauty might be like the only one. Um, they do like a cream foundation. They do a powder foundation. I, I think I'm going to pick up their cream, their stick foundation. I am wearing the vapor stick foundation today, which my skin was cooperating enough for me to use it. I'm also using like all tower 28. Looks pretty good. Anyway. Yeah. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I will see you guys in my next one.